everybody. You know, I've been thinking, and you know how I like to experiment. And I've been having these thoughts, and I've been thinking and pondering, and luckily, it didn't require medication to fix this. All it required was a test. So today, I thought I would give it a test. Because I've been thinking, if my, if my soap that we do that's milk soap can be cooked in only 45 to an hour, 45 minutes to an hour, then why can't my regular soap just be cooked for 45 minutes to an hour? Now, when I first started uh, cooking soap, everybody said, you got to cook it for four hours. And I've seen people that cooked it for longer. <clears throat> but So I used to cook my soap for four hours. Well, I started not cooking it for so long, and I found I had the same, you know, end, uh, the same thing at the end. Hmm. And then I started to, I, I think I created that recipe on how to do it because nobody else was doing it that way in HP when I put the first video on, to the best of my knowledge. So, I got to thinking one day about doing goat's milk soap, but we had all those burn issues. So, I come up with an idea on how to do it. And when I do it, it only takes like 45 minutes to an hour, but my soap still hardens up in the same amount of cure time. Still packages and sales with just that short three to four days, just like the other soap. And I thought to myself, hmm. And then I thought, hmm. And then I decided, well, you're just going to have to test it. So today, we're going to test it. I'm going to try, or attempt, to cook a regular soap similar to the way I cook a milk soap. And I hope it's tons of fun and you enjoy doing it with me. So, alright, here we go. Let's get soaping. Okay, we have our oils at room temperature. And I did this earlier, so I had put the lid back on it to make sure no you know, debris or anything was uh, should happen to get in it. Uh, but normally, um, you would cool it with the lid off until it's tempered. Uh, the standard is 130, 110 to 130 for your oils and 100 to 110 for your lye. But I like to bring both to room temperature. And so that's what I've done. I could put my hand in those oils and swish it around and they wouldn't even be warm. Uh, or... It would be tempered, but would not be hot or, or anything like that. All right, now, let's start with our adding our life. Hey, Meg. I want you to time us. There we go. We'll set that over there. You know, when I started making soap, I was making soap and cooking it for four hours. And because that's what I had been told and read. But I found that two and a half hours was very satisfactory for my climate and elevation. And I find it works for most folks as well. Now, I don't have any swirlies. Everything is real evenly mixed. I don't have any oil, oil swirls, not even around the edges. It'll hide over there. Um, we want to make sure that that our um, that our um, that we don't have any unmixed oils. Now, I'm going to turn my crock pot up on low. All right. 
Now I'm going to set that behind. I have a tray back there. All right. Now I have got my super fats ready because I'm making a lotion bar. Hey Meg, where's that list that says what's in here? She's fetching it. All right. And I'm not going to add any colorant because I'm doing a lotion bar. And then here is our fun pieces of soap. And I have cut those into squares, and it's just in pieces and scraps. Um, but now you could use melt and pour, uh, embeds, stars, circles. I saw the cutest one that had dots. Look at my horrible handwriting. Okay, now in a single, it's three ounces of shea butter, one ounce of cocoa butter, two ounces of olive oil, one half ounce of co one and a half ounces of coconut oil, one half teaspoon of vitamin E, and one half tape no, that's supposed to be one tablespoon glycerin. Then, if you're doing a double, it's six ounces of shea butter, two ounces of cocoa butter, four ounces of olive oil, three ounces of coconut oil, and one teaspoon of vitamin E, and two tablespoons of glycerin. All right. So now that we've got all that, we've got our super fats. I'm going to set it right here by the crock pot so it'll get warm and hot. And here is our uh, soap pieces. And all i got to do is get my essential oils together. And you can use any you like. Uh, and I like to do at least an ounce per uh, 16 ounces of oil of essential oil. But now always remember your peppermint, your cinnamon, camphor, there's some essential oils that you cannot use heavy in soap because they're irritating to the skin. Um, so I, um, I always don't do more than a tablespoon of peppermint, cinnamon, or camphor if I can get out of it. I've got one recipe that is the five thieves that required more cinnamon so I put it in there and so far so good. But um, I try never to put more than a tablespoon of those three essential oils uh, in a single batch, which is 36 ounces of oil. So 32 to 36 ounces of oil. Um, but to each his own. But that's what I find. And that's including also spearmint, uh, any of the mint families you have to be cautious with. All right. So where's our lid? There it is. All right. Uh, can you get the timer, Meg? Okay, she's going to time us, and we're going to bring it to the gel phase. All right, it has been 25 minutes. I've got bubblies around the side, <clears throat> but I'm, I'm still in a very soft gel. So, <clears throat> excuse me. So, I'm going to just hang on just a little bit longer so that I can do the tuck-tack-toe method. And uh, so, y'all just keep going with me. We're at 25 minutes. Well... Almost 26. Okay, it has been 37 minutes, and we have just never hit that hard gel stage. And sometimes that just happens. Don't ask me why it happens, but it does. So I'm going to stir our soap. And let it all come to a good what we might call a good bubble and see what happens. Okay, this soap has cooked an hour. We have the bubblies going on and <clears throat> everything's all bubbly. So one hour and now we're going to add our super fats. Oh, I need a spatula, Megan. She was ahead of me. She was done digging in the drawers. I get fussed at sometimes because I don't have my equipment ready ahead of time. I'm a bad girl. Now this being a lotion bar, I'm I'm doing uh, I'm doing 18% if you figure up the. Uh, the um the um glycerin and the vitamin e i think it's 15 percent when you don't count that up all 
Oh boy, that smells good with that cocoa butter. Okay, now we're going to let that go ahead and cook for just a little bit more. I don't think I'll do a whole 30 minutes. I think I'm going to do 20 minutes and, um, and everything. And I'm going to do it like the milk soap. I'm going to cut it off. And then we're going to take the lid off and let it cool. Okay, our soap has cooked for 20 minutes with the, the heat turned off. And I'm re-stirring the super fats in. I figure the worst thing that can happen is it'll have to cure longer. I can live with that. So now I'm going to leave the lid off and uh, let it cool. To, because we're doing a lotion bar, I'm going to let it cure to a, uh, cool to 180 to 175, and then I'll bring you back. Okay, I've got it down to 180. We've been going an hour and 29 minutes, and I'm doing the swizzle test. I tell everybody that if you just let it sit stationary and you take the temperature that it says, sometimes it lies. But if you rotate it around like that, it gets dizzy and it gets confused and then it has to tell you the truth. So, <laughs> so here we go. We're at 180. So I have got four cups of, um, of chunks of existing soap. We're going to put those in. We've still got to cool it to 160. when you put the lotion bar, when you put the pieces in, it cools it down real fast. I know, I'm hurting your ears. I'm sorry, guys. Clean down the sides. Alright, let's put Mr. Candy Thermometer back in there. Swish it around and see what temperature it says. It usually just takes a couple minutes. Let's see what it says. Okay, it says it's at 170. So we've just got to bring it down a little bit more. Now let me get my recipe out. There it is. I want to tell you what we're going to put in there. Here is our essential oils. And I have put, oh, let's measure and see how many ounces that is. Hang on a sec. Okay, I got an empty glass, and I teared it out. And then I put our glass on there. And so I have got almost four ounces. And I'm doing a double batch. So that's 36 and 36. And, oh, and so... That's 72 ounces of oil. Here. Let me bring you back and scan you, bring you back out. So I have got, oh Lord, I forgot how many it was. What did I say? Well, I'm getting a different amount now. Hang on. <laughs> Okay, almost four ounces. We'll just call it four ounces. So, so that's yeah. So that's two ounces per batch, and that's that's the lowest I go. Okay, and I have put in here in the double. So if you're doing a single, you'll have to divide this in half. I have got seven tablespoons of yang yang or lang lang whichever you want to call it, one tablespoon of bay, one tablespoon of peppermint, 
and one tablespoon of, of uh, anise seed. So that is what we're putting in our lotion bar today. And, and I am at, oh, about 164. So I'll bring you back when we're at 160. Okay, we're at 160. Now, I had a few skinny pieces in there, and they melted a touch on me, so I might get chunks and some swirls. So, let's get our essential oils in there. We want to stir it until we don't have an oily look that it goes back to an opaque look. Right now we've got that shiny, glistening look. But we want to have a non-shiny, uh, opaque look after the soap has soaked up. I'm going to the other side, guys. After the soap has soaked up all of the essential oils, Okay, we've achieved it. In it goes. Oh, I think Lang Lang and anise seed, that I sometimes call anise seed <laughs> without realizing I've even done it, <laughs> it smells awesome together with some peppermint. This is a perfect way to recycle your soap pieces. Now I've got some left over, but I've got a second mold ready to go. And now I'm going to take my soap spatula and I'm going to make it even. Then I'm going to take my TEA spoon. I'm getting real fond of my TEA spoon. And I'm going to swirl it lightly. I'm going to put and take that chunk and put it right there. Put that in there good. There's an extra piece. I didn't get many chunks showing up down here on the end. There we go. I like to put these little Let's get our let's get our extra mole out. Hang on, let me get rid of this one. I got my board ready. I mean, this really turned loose from the, from the crock, which is unusual for this soap. Oh, God. 
God, that smells good. Y'all got to try that, guys. Now, I'll put my board in. And push it up, and let's see what we're going to do to fix that. This board is too wide, hang on. Let's see if this one's any skinnier. Well, Lord, I don't know what that is. I've always used any of them boards in any of my molds, but that one there was just really fussing. Remember, if your soup, so if your soup, if your soap ever gets too uh, cool on you, turn your crock pot back on. Even if you've put your essential oils in there, bring it back up to 160, and then mold it. All right, so we got a mold and a fourth. Okay, tomorrow we're going to cut it and see how this test came out. <clears throat> Bye, everybody. Hello. All right. I just got back from the farmer's market, and uh, I decided it was time to cut some soap. So let's go. Now, this is our test soap. And... Uh, Uh, and this is even more of a test because this one is super, super, super fatted. I know. I'll put that in the garbage can in a minute. Megan will be on my butt. <laughs> oh, here she blows. I'm going to put down the sides and smooth. All right. Now let's see how she cuts and how soft she feels. I'm going to back her up just a little bit and uh, get us a smooth edge. Oh, it's an awesome essential oil combination. Oh. a bar. Drum roll, please. All right. Okay, it feels just as hard as the lotion bar normally feels. Let's get out our, our scales. Uh, 4.8 ounces and that seems like just a little bit uh, make sure ah uh, 4.9 ounces and now that bar there uh, the end there it seems like they, there's an air pocket let's let's cut another one. There we go, 5.0 ounces, uh, so uh, that looks good, and uh, let's cut another one. Oh, 
Ooh, isn't that pretty? Oh, that's so pretty. Here it comes. Oh, isn't that gorgeous? Oh, that's just beautiful. Oh. There's just something about Lang Lang or Yang Yang or whatever you call it and anise seed. And the peppermint just sweetens the pot a little bit and the bay just does something. Oh, that is heavenly. Absolutely heavenly. We'll get that out of the way. Oh, that is so pretty. Now, let's cut it one more. Oh, that is so pretty. I just love that. Now, um, I had some little skinny pieces, and I put this in at 180. I think maybe if you're using smaller pieces, you should pull it down to 175. Uh, and right there, you can see just some light swirls uh, in the soap, and then you see the chunks, too. Uh, on this side, we're just seeing swirls. That was right back up to the back. Um, on this one here, you, you can see a swirl, and then you see chunks, too. Every piece has its own little look, um, and it's just so much fun to do that. Um, I think next time I may put... I put four cups. I think I may add and go up to six cups, but let's cut the rest of it and see what we get. So hang on. Isn't it pretty? Look at all the variations. I had one bar right on the end of that last loaf that had just some light uh, to it. I'll probably put that on my own counter for washing my hands. <clears throat> um, this being a lotion bar, I tell everybody, it, if you have nothing in your tub to prevent slipperiness, that it could make your tub a little slipperier because it's uh, so heavily super fatted. But, um, otherwise, I have customers who take a bath with this soap that have extremely dry skin, and they just love it. But uh, when I sell it, I always make a note to tell that to someone, and I put it on the web page, just so, you know, people know. You know, I mean, if you, knowledge is power. <laughs> All right, now let me dry my hands. I wash my hands. I think that it feels slightly softer, but... This is the lotion bar, which is so heavily super fatted that it's normally a little softer when you cut it. And so, I think that I won't post this video until after it's cured for a few days. So, I'm going to let these puppies cure for a while, and then I'll bring you back. So, just hang on. For you, it will only be seconds. It's just not fair. Hey everybody, this is day one. Um, it's still really not been a full 24 hours. Um, this is a soap that's two days older than this one. And you can see that we're not as white as usual because some of our skinny pieces melted. So if you're doing skinny pieces, maybe get it down to 175, not 180. This is my first time to have problems, and I did 180, and I think I did 175 before, so I'm not holding that right. Sorry, guys. Okay, and uh, now my shadow is totally in the way. Okay, all right, now there's good. That's good. Okay, all right, so this soap is two days older. Same recipe, except for it doesn't have the extra essential oils in it. I mean, the extra super fat, it's just an 8% super fat. And I'm feeling how soft it is. And then I'm feeling this one. 
and they feel exactly the same so this one um, and this one is very high in essential oils it has a whole lot of essential oils that goes in that one now here's one that doesn't have as many essential oils in it and it is much harder um, this is the cedar wood and tea tree right now I've got a whole bunch of orders all processed the shipping labels printed uh, the bags ready anything else they ordered uh, just waiting for this bar on Monday to be cured so and pack we're gonna package it up Monday and put it in the bags and ship it out so but everybody knew it was on back order and any orders involving that soap would occur on um, April 1st so so this one is much harder with less essential oils and will be cured out um, today's Sunday so this one will be packaged tomorrow um, this one the spirit lifter will probably need one more day because it's so heavily uh, it's it's got so much volume of essential oils in it and that's one of the reasons it's a dollar more on the website too because it's got so many more essential oils in it but in any case it is feeling just like this one they feel just the same and this one's not quite 24 hours and this one here um, tomorrow would actually be actually today is day three so tomorrow would be day four um, so I think we're I think we're cooking with gas so I'll just keep you posted okay this is uh, day three and that would be the cut day was day one I did a clip yesterday morning this is yesterday this is uh, the next day but in the afternoon it's after five o'clock and it still is soft and I don't think that it's curing out uh, as well as well I don't know it think well it may be this one here let me fill another one. No? That one there was just soft on the bottom. A little extra soft on the bottom. I'll cure it on the side. Let that... You know, I bet it's this counter. They normally cure over there on that... It has a textured surface, and so it can breathe on the bottom. So I bet that's what it is. So I'm going to... Uh, we'll turn them all on their side. Now, technically they should be sellable tomorrow at the latest and so we're going to have to see how the cookie falls this one this one here is um is ready but um these here one more day may do the trick and then we may have to have another day we'll just have to wait and see oh this one's very firm very firm so I guess we'll just have to see how they do tomorrow because I cut them that's one day two three yeah this is day three so day four which is tomorrow if you count the day you cut them is technically the day they order to sell and like this one here it is like totally good and ready to go so I, I, I'm gonna not um, sell these though right away uh, I'm going to take a bar to my own um, shower and see if it dissolves um, and doesn't, is what we call, isn't long wearing. So uh, I believe I have a bar right here. Yeah, the one that didn't come out with any little colored chunks. So, and normally, you know, this is white soap, but because our skinny pieces melted, it has tinted the soap to a creamy color. So I'm going to have to take all new pictures for the website. Okay, so I'm going to take a bar to the shower for tonight, see how it holds up under uh, washing uh, hair and face and body, and then we'll make another clip tomorrow and see how we're doing. All right. Bye, everybody. Hey, everybody. Hey there, guys. Uh, this is my son, Philip. I'm so pleased to have him in the soap room with me today, and this is our last uh, clip on checking out that experimental soap and 
Do not, you know me, I'm taking it to the next level today, right here in the soap room with my son, who's been helping me. He's been measuring oils. That's and, craziness. I know, and he, I even put the little goggles and the face mask on him and yep. the gloves, and he was he was whisking life for the first time right here in the soap room. I was building out a science guy for a second. <laughs> All right. All right. So now, this is our last day on mm -hmm. checking on this. And now, what I did was, mm -hmm. is this is the lotion bar. So the lotion bars are... Lotion bar. I put more oil, more super fats in it so that when you wash your hands with it, it feels extra soft. And my hands felt all dry. And I got my bar out. And I washed my hands with them just now and feel. Yeah. Oh, no, that's soft. Yeah. It's and, smooth. And it don't even feel like it needs lotion. My yeah. hands don't. And normally when you wash, you know, when yeah. you're washing and washing and washing like I have to do back here in the soap room, I'm constantly grabbing a little lotion. So now I have me a lotion bar at the sink. Ooh, and we know girls love lotion. There sorry, you go. Ladies. There you go. Anyway, and so, <clears throat> but what I did was is I did an experiment. Now, what was that? Well, I did a short cooking time. Just to see what would happen if I didn't cook it as long, would I still get a good product? And yeah. I suppose a lotion bar might not have been the best way to go because it's a softer bar anyway yeah. because it's heavily super fatted. But here's one that is cured. It is one day older than that one. Now, Phil. Now, hold this one. This one here, this is day four. Oh, okay. Counting that I cut it on day one. Yeah. Okay. So now, feel how hard that one was. And feel how hard this one is and see if you see, see a difference. Now this one's hard. That one's a, a touch spongy. That one's a touch spongy? It is. Well, I, you, know, you know why? This one's got so many essential oils in it. Oh. It's got tons of essential oils in it. This is the spirit lifter. Uh-oh. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, it takes the weight of the world off of you. Mm, so now you think that good. this one is actually harder than this one. It is. See, so this one normally has to sit sometimes a little bit Let extra. Let me test it again. I just want to make sure. I don't want to give off bad, you know. <laughs> okay, yeah, that one's softer. Okay, I it. so this one is definitely ready to go on day four. But uh, I think I'm going to give them just a couple extra days. I washed my hands with one. I meant to get in the shower with one. Forgot to do it. Randy decided that he had to have me come down real early for breakfast this morning. Yeah. And then I had to go to Wildwood and get supplies. And so I forgot to run back here and get a lotion bar. So I'm going to give it just a couple more days. But I think it's hard as a rock. I think it is. Okay. All right. So these are officially done. But since I did a test on them before I sell them, I'm going to give them a couple more days cure. All right. Did you take a, a Gigolo Joe bar with you to Florida? I did. And I, I'll go and say I love that Gigolo Joe. It smells so good. It's like a sweet and sour sexy mix or something. I, I know. know. That's Gigolo Joe. We've been working on that. There's a video on how I made it. It was sort of a throw together because I really was waiting. I didn't know if this would work. So I wasn't really doing a, you know, a video on it. But it did turn out. So I took my clips and throwed it together. And I'm going to do more on it. And I'm going to build a mold just for this design. Oh, or you? Yeah. So, you know, because see right now we got little. Yeah, you got checkers. I'm, yeah, it's a checkerboard. Checkerboard there you design. Go. Okay, so. And it smells so good. Oh, yeah, I recognize that scent. Okay. Use it all down there in Panama. All right, and I wanted to do a little update on my ugly CP soap. This is cold process. That cold process? Yeah. What does that mean? That means I don't cook it in the crock pot. You just mix it all up. Yeah. And, and it's like the lye is active when you add yeah. stuff to it, so it can turn things that aren't supposed to be ugly brown, brown. Oh, And it okay. can turn things that's supposed to be blue, uh, ugly gray. See, I'm like y'all. I don't know nothing about this. I, I don't know, but now this one turned out pretty decent. Yeah. You know, but I like that one. It's smell, like a marble. This, this one has anise seed in it that I sometimes call. Oh, that's good. That's oh, my like favorite. That. It's anise seed and and something else. Guys, y'all have to watch the video. I don't have my notes in front of me. Yeah. And then this one's a fragrance soap. I mix three kinds of fragrance together. Oh, that's soft smelling. That's uh. It's real smooth. Yeah, it's real mild. It almost smells like a milkshake. Yeah, it's strawberry and fruity sensation or sensa sensation and I think van French vanilla. I can smell that French vanilla for but sure. But anyway, it's only been two weeks. Oh, Lord. And we're talking hard as a rock. So the reason I did this test 
was to see if my HP recipes, which makes yeah. hot process recipes, would make decent cold process soap. And yes, you know how it was hard for me to deal with it, but now, you know, I was new at CP, never did it, and it like gelled up on me real fast or traced or whatever, and it was hard to work with. But, but, two weeks and this stuff is cured. I mean, a harder recipe. Yeah. I mean, this stuff's hard as a rock. There's not a soft fillet. I, ain't got I know. It. I mean, this stuff's hard as a rock. Good Lord. I know. But I talked to a cp -er and they said I should give it one more week just for safety because yeah. of making sure that the lie is completely dead in it. So, these ugly soaps will come available really cheap on my website soon. There you go. All right. So, that's those. And then, I just thought I'd throw all this on the end for fun. Uh, I went and bought my bags from Wildwood Country Store. But I also bought something else. I am, I've got two crock pots right here, and I'm fixing to do the video on it. There you go. Kelp powder sea, and sea salt. And I'm going to put kelp, high levels of kelp in one crock pot along with uh, either lime or lavender. And then I'm going to put uh, a high quantity of sea salt in the other crock pot with either lime or lavender essential oil and we're going to have a lime and lavender scrub bar and it's going to be kelp and sea salt and as you know the kelp just with a couple tablespoons makes the soap smell extremely fishy when it and it has to cure out yeah but kelp is really good for you it is. and so yeah and so and sea salt's really good for your skin from time to time so we're going to make a kelp scrubby bar Ooh. Okay, so that's that's coming up. We're doing we're filming it today. All right. And then I'm going to do a gourmet vanilla bean, vanilla bean. Uh, those are whole. I'm gonna I'm gonna um, chip them up and put in a soap with vanilla essential oil and poppy seeds. And so this is gonna be a vanilla exfoliator. And that's another soap, but I'm not doing that one today. But we're I'm going to be doing that one, and I'll video it for you, okay, guys? All right, so, and now I also bought my bee pollen. Bee pollen. While I was at the wild, we, 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 um, we put it in the bullet. Yeah. Or, I mean, the big food processor. Yeah. No, the, the bullet, and we chop it up real fine into a powder. We put it in olive oil, yeah. and just enough to get it mixed, and we store it, and then we put two, a tablespoon in the soap. Ooh. Oatmeal, honey, local honey, and bee pollen. Now, what does this do for you? Well, that, when I read about it, they said that bee pollen, whether taken internally or used externally, yeah. helps the immune system. Well, now that's good. And then it feels good in the soap, too, when yeah. you're scrubbing your body. So, okay. And then I bought more kelp. Got to have plenty of kelp for this. Because, you know, if it, and I was out of paprika. Paprika makes a really pretty light orange. Um, and then if you add half paprika and half turmeric, it makes sort of a tangerine color, but still Ooh. rustic looking in soap. I was out of paprika. And then I bought some of the expensive Slippery M, 279 for two ounces. And I used, this will only do, I think, two batches of soap um, for colorant. And it makes a reddish brown. A uh, light reddish brown. The more you put, though, the darker it is. And yeah. and slippery elm is used in horse medicine today. Is it? Mm -hmm, to um for wounds. Oh. To well. make a, a a paste or cream or something. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And so slippery elm is very healing. I add it to my um cedarwood and tea tree soap. That's the colors. Well, cedarwood. horse skin's way tougher, so if it's <laughs> great for them, it's great for us. Uh, and I hope I have heard so many people using poppy seeds yeah. as an exfoliant. Yeah. So I hope that it feels good on the skin when they wash with poppy seeds. I was wondering when you talk about scrubby, I was like, do you put sand in it? No. What we're do gonna, you do? We're gonna, for one, we're gonna put salt. Sea salt. Sea salt. So it's gonna have sea salt in it, and the sea salt when you, yeah. you know, it's gonna yeah. be an exfoliant. So there you go. Well, there you go. So this is my son, Philip, and I'm Mama Kim from Essential Soap. Yes. And have you moved home for a couple of months? I have, I have. Uh -huh. I've, I've went on my adventure down to Louisiana. Yeah, he's going to go to Louisiana, 
and uh, and hopefully uh, get a job in the oil rigs. Yes. And I'll be so lonely. I know. I'm gonna miss y'all. I know. Me and Philip, we've always been thick as thieves. Yeah. We're just magical people. <laughs> You can see he takes after me there, don't you? <laughs> He's so good with the camera. I love having him in the room with me. All right, so we got us a cup of hot tea going. Yeah. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine crock pots of brewing. Yeah. And six of those are doubles. And so we're making soap. But we're going to be filming this right here for you. And we're going to make ourselves some kelp sea salt scrubby soap. Well, just remember, this is my first time, so don't let me mess it up. Okay, I'll be careful. You're going to have to. <laughs> All right, bye, everybody. Bye, everybody.